Welcome to the Keyview short video about dimensioning and analysis. This is one of the points that make Keyview stand out among other viewers. Let me begin with creating a bounding box to identify the physical dimension of the imported part. That's nothing special so far, most other viewers can do that as well. But now, let's start dimensioning the individual geometry elements. Therefore, I select the Quick Dimension feature. This feature includes almost all imaginable types of dimensioning. Keyview automatically shows the most reasonable dimensioning type when upon the cursor at the geometry element. In this example, the edge of the part. Now I select it with the mouse and just pull the dimension out and to the desired position. The right mouse button lets me toggle the axis of dimensioning. This way, I control along which axis I want to pull the dimension out, up or to the side and so on. Depending on where I point with the cursor, Keyview automatically recognizes which dimension type makes the most sense at this point. Be it a length measurement, an angle, a radius, within context, Keyview selects the correct dimensioning type for me. If there are multiple dimensioning types available for a geometry element, I can select the favored one with the right mouse button. This drilled hole, for example, here I want to measure the radius instead of the diameter or in measuring the distance between the drilled hole and the edge of the part. In this case, I can toggle with the right mouse button whether I want to measure from the center of the hole, or from the near edge, or from the far edge. The tedious selection of the desired dimensioning type before every step, as in conventional views, is obsolete. During the whole dimensioning of this part, I stay in just the one function, quick dimension. If you prefer to work the traditional way, Keyview supports that as well. But I highly recommend you at least try out the quick dimension feature. After only a short time it will become second nature. Just because Keyview automatically recognizes the correct dimensioning type within context when you point at an element with the mouse. Keyview also offers some special cases of dimensioning. For example, dimension specific points in a curvature. That comes in handy when you are working with splines or dimensioning with coordinates. Here you just set a zero point and then dimension along the x, y and z axis. This makes sense for machining programs. Allow me a short remark on the precision of dimensioning. Some viewers show rather rough values when you try to measure with them. That is because these viewers mostly build the imported parts in their own system of polygons. And that's good enough for just viewing the part but you cannot exactly get a reliable measure out of this tessellated data. Keyview, in contrast, uses the original CAD geometry data of the imported file. This ensures the greatest possible accuracy in any dimensioning. But now let's move on to the second topic of this short video, the analysis. Keyview can display a diagnose window with correct data for element info, circumference, angles and so on. The part can also be analyzed in detail as a volume. Therefore, I can set the projected material and density for every part beforehand. There are many pre-installed materials and I also have the opportunity to create my own categories, material names and densities. And after just a click, Keyview shows a window with the calculated mass properties. From the predefined density and the volume of the part, it calculates a mass of uh, around 12 kg in this case. And also the mass of the surface can be interesting. For example, if I want to find out the required amount of material for a surface finish, like powder coating, galvanizing or chroming. Additionally, the window also shows the center of gravity, as well as other mathematical calculations, like the moment of inertia, or the kinetic energy, which Kivya has calculated from the part. And that's it for the overview on dimensioning and analysis in Kubotech Keyview. For more information on this, as well as other features in Keyview, please visit our website at www.keyview.de. Thank you very much for your attention, and hopefully till next time.